In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create donut charts. They're new in Stack Graphics 18. Donut charts are used to plot the distribution of categorical data. They're similar to pie charts, but cleaner. Stack Graphics creates donut charts from two types of data. The first type of data is data that's already been tabulated. For example, here you see the results of the 2016 presidential election. You see the number of votes received by Trump, Clinton, and other candidates. In other cases, the data need to be tabulated. For example, here's a file containing information on all passengers aboard the Titanic the night she sank. I'm going to show you how donut charts can be used to show the differences in the class of passengers who survived and didn't survive. Let's start with data that's already been tabulated. Here you see the results of the 2016 presidential election in the United States. You see the popular vote received by Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, and all the other candidates. To create a donut chart, I'll go to Plot, Business Charts, Pie Chart slash Donut Chart. Where it asks for counts, I'll give it the popular vote. Where it asks for labels, I'll give it the candidate. On the list of tables and graphs, I can choose either a pie chart or a donut chart or both. There's my donut chart. There are a number of options for what's displayed on the chart. I can choose the format by right-clicking and going to Paint Options. Another nice format is to turn off the legends by selecting None. And for the labels, put the names of the candidates with a percentage. That's also a pretty nice display. Now let's look at the situation where data needs to be tabulated. Here I've loaded into the Stack Graphics data sheet a file called Titanic 3. It lists each of the passengers on the Titanic the night she went down. I'm particularly interested in looking at the two columns labeled P class and survived. P class shows the class ticket purchased by each of the passengers. Survived is an indicator coded 1 if the individual survived that night and 0 if they did not. To create a donut chart for this data, I'll go to Describe on the main menu and select Categorical Data, Tabulation. The data to be tabulated is the data in the P class column. Now the initial donut chart I'm going to do is for passengers who survived. So in the select field I'm going to type survived equal 1. That'll take the subset of the file for the passengers who survived. I'll then press OK, select the donut chart, and there it is. Now to make it a little nicer, I think I'll add a label to it. I'm going to add the label survived and drag it into the center of the donut chart. The next thing I'm going to do is copy this chart to the stat gallery. So I'll push the right mouse button, select copy pane to stat gallery, push the right mouse button again and paste it into the upper left corner of the gallery. Now let's create a donut chart for the passengers that did not survive. Let's go back to the tabulation procedure, bring back the data input dialog box, and this time change the select field from survived equals 1 to survived equals 0. Now this is a donut chart for the passengers that did not survive. 
and I think I better change the label in the middle too. Let's click on it, select graphics options, and put in did not survive. Now I'll click on that chart with my right mouse button, select copy pane to stat gallery, and paste it in the upper right corner. One more thing to do. In the stat gallery, I'll push the right mouse button and this time ask to arrange panes. And what I'd like for my stat gallery here is left and right. It's very clear from these donut charts that there's a difference in the distribution of passenger class amongst those who survived and those who did not survive. Of those who survived, only 36% were from class 3, while 40% were first class. For those who did not survive, a full 65% of those were from class 3, while only 15% were from class one. It's a simple but very informative display of the information contained in that Titanic data file.